You, but for the ones you not met, I hope to spend the rest of the evening with you guys. I request Mr. Lalit Chaudhary, the managing director of Infinity Group, please come up and say a few words. Hello. Well, thank you all for being here tonight and uh, braving the weather. So, very warm welcome to you all from uh, Infinity and Ducati India. And uh, it's it's nice and endearing to see a room full of Ducati owners. It wasn't long ago when Ravi and I engaged uh, a couple of years ago trying to see what might become of a Ducati franchise in, in the city of Mumbai. And it's pleased to know that now, a couple of years in, we are about 320 Ducati owners and enthusiasts. <laughs> Many of you are in the room tonight, so uh, uh, it's a reason to celebrate. So thank you once again for making it out here. Just a couple of minutes about who we are and how we got about to associate with Ducati. As many of you know, we have our origins in the luxury car business and over the years that we've taken the opportunity to associate with a few selective uh, luxury premium marquees but mostly four-wheelers. And then for some reason we felt incomplete. And there was a nagging feeling that something had to be done to our portfolio of marquee brands to try and complete it, and that's where we came across the chance to associate with Ducati. The, the power of the brand, the intensity of the machine, and the allure of their aesthetics have kept us closely associated and, and prompted us and motivated us to, the, to do the best we could in a way that's different from our peer group in Mumbai City. Our commitment to the brand is, testament, uh, is best explained by the fact that we've put up two very good locations, the showroom at Linking Road and the workshop and after sales facility at Worley. Hopefully, you'll have been to both these places and have found them to be endearing and found them to be homes away from your home. We've taken special care to try and see that you could spend hours there without getting bored with the machines and, and watch your bikes being repaired. 
I won't waste too much time now at this moment. I'd like to call Ravi Abalur on stage, who's the managing director of Ducati India, whose brainchild it is, and who has seen Ducati India come about from being just a just a thought and an imagination. Somebody might have actually now fulfilling their footprint in India across Mumbai and other cities. Ravi. Well, first of all, a warm welcome to everyone. Thank you, Lalit, for the introduction. And it's really amazing to see everyone here. So, it's a very emotional moment for me. Uh, Bombay is where I'm from. And it was when we thought about where we're going to put the first dealership in India, it was very obviously going to be Bombay. Because I'm from here. But also because Ducati values of style, sophistication, and performance are best embodied and displayed in this city, which was the reason that we decided to come here with Infinity Group last year. So thank you, everyone. I'm here to present the ex -Tiavel. Is the microphone in? Yeah. The ex Diagonal for Ducati represented a complete paradigm shift. We literally plunged into the world of the unknown when Ducati decided to go ahead and make a full-fledged cruiser. When we decided to move ahead with the ex Diagonal, we had to very clearly move from a traditional, typical, well, traditional for Ducati, world of red, a world of motorsport, world of racing, to the black world of the devil, and black for us meant style, elegant, sophistication that you see typical of a cruiser. On the right you see an image of a typical race bike leaned over into the corner. On the left, a cruiser down a long straight highway in a relaxed, sport, less sporting style of riding. On the right, you see a racing glove, another typical Ducati accessory. On the left, a dress shirt with a cufflink. I'd now like to call Lalit on stage. I need to explain a little bit uh, about how the name of the X Diablo came about. The X for us represents the intersection of values, the intersection of cruiser values and Ducati values, which are performance and racing. The X also represented a multiplication of powers, where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. The starting point for the ex Diablo and all objects of beauty was the design. This is a design drawing that was made in 2012. It was the original concept sketch that was made for the ex Diablo. In less than two years, it went from drawing board to production, and the final motorcycle is what you see today. It's incredibly similar to the original concept sketch that we first came up with. Typical of a cruiser, the ex Diabel is long, is low, has feet forward ergonomics, a belt final drive, and because it's a Ducati, it is a platform for technology unlike any other cruiser on the market today. I could go on the whole evening talking about technical specs and numbers, but there's a bar, and I don't want to come in between the way of you and the bar. There are three numbers, 5,000, 60, 40. These really explain the X-Diavel in a nutshell. 
5,000 RPM. 5,000 RPM is the rep, are the reps at which maximum torque is produced. So for a rider, it's an extremely easy machine to ride with a good spread of torque across the power band. There's 60 ergonomic combinations that can be achieved to four foot control positions, five seats, and three handlebars. Not untypical of a cruiser, you have a 40 degree maximum lean angle, which is close to a sport bike. The heart of the motorcycle, of course, is the engine. And the XTR will mount a 1262cc desmodromic valve timing uh, twin cylinder engine. It is incredibly well finished. As you can see here on the XTR S, it's beautifully machined. First, it's the first ever uh, Ducati to use a belt drive. Brembo brakes. And on the XTR S, the brakes on the XTRLS are the same brakes that we use on the flagship 1299S Superbike. So you've got a cruiser with the same brakes as a top-end race bike, which is really incredible. I'll quickly run you to the electronics. You've got ride by wire, riding mode, this Ducati safety pack. But most importantly, we've got the Ducati Power Launch, which enables you to go from zero to maximum acceleration with incredible safety, predictability, and performance. The x S is our top-of-the-line model. It distinguishes itself with several features. One is the unique glossy big paint finish. As I said, the Brembo M50 calipers, which are the same as on the 1299S, our flagship superbike. And the forged machine side plates, foot peg supports, and mirrors. Our parent company, of course, gave us the technology for daytime running lamps, LED. We also have a Bluetooth module for infotainment on the bike, as standard. The x S is priced now at 18.27 lakhs, ex showroom Mumbai. The x standard is priced at 15.7 lakhs, ex showroom Mumbai.
Kalyan, our presentation is over, but before we finish, I'd like to call Lalit Chaudhary back on stage and our special guest for the evening, Mr. Ram Kapoor, to take delivery of his time.